What if I told you I spent 115 hours flying a drone 30 million blocks to Minecraft's world border? Would you believe me? Believe it or not, after 30 days of flying, I have reached Minecraft's world border. Join me as I journey through the millions of chunks it took to reach this absurd location. Our journey begins during a beautiful Saturday afternoon on July 16th, 2022. I had just thought up the idea to travel to the border and had high hopes for accomplishing my new goal. How hard could this really be? It's just 30 million blocks. Especially as a drone, it's gonna be... It's gonna be fun. Just like that, on the quad, and we're off. Because day one had just started, I thought of a great idea. Put your guess in the comments, how big do you think this world file is gonna be? I'm putting my guess on 45.3 gigabytes. And thankfully, I was already optimizing the quad to travel to the world border as efficiently as possible. We need to have a racing quad. Wait a second. Drone build. Let's just take off our GoPro. See, now we zoom in. If we go like 75 degrees, something completely ridiculous. <laughs> we can go full throttle and still look ahead at 75 degrees. And for those who don't know, the 75 degrees is the up tilt of our camera, which essentially just determines how fast we'll be going while looking straight ahead. Oh, this is so trippy, dude. <laughs> It's just, just like a rocket. Coming from 30 degrees of up tilt, I felt like I was flying a jet. If I do F5, will this look weird? Oh my gosh. <gasps> you know, actually, we might do the rest of our journey in F5. And after traveling only 475,000 blocks, we got this achievement. Well, <laughs> there we go, boys. Oh, I knew that was an achievement. Here we go. Oh yeah! Thus ended day one, and the true test of endurance began. There's a blacksmith there. I think I'm gonna pass. Honestly, I have enough stuff. <laughs> Especially where just a piece of carbon fiber flying to the world border. As you can hear in my voice, I was up early the next day to continue my efforts of reaching the border. As we had done on day one, I optimized the debug menu to help us better track our journey and still see the outside world. I mean, come on Mojang, what is this debug menu? Oh yeah. Two million. We are out here. As the third day arrived, my motivation was still high, especially considering I was treated frequently with Mushroom Island. <laughs> this is just becoming a common theme that we run into this smaller island with sugarcane and a really small island that could like be a packed up PNG. Another Mushroom Island. Oh, I was like, is this the smallest one? I was really hoping it was just that tiny island. That would have been hilarious. Ooh, this Mushroom Island has lava on it and it's absolutely massive. Dun, 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 dun. Start playing the epic dramatic music. The most epic, only the most exquisite, exquisite, extravaganza words. The most poggers. Oh wait, we passed it. At this point in the journey, I was starting to feel slightly burnt out from constantly flying upwards towards the border. So I decided to start practicing my downward, my upside down <laughs> flying. We've been upside down for a long time. We haven't hit anything yet. Oh, oh, almost spoke too soon. We did it. <laughs> Four million. And though I sound extremely depressed, my motivation levels were maintaining at the start of day five. I had simply woken up an hour late and rushed to the computer to keep pushing forward. It's currently five in the morning. I'm still chasing this fever dream. We'll uh, see where it takes us. I don't know, maybe the world border? Who knows? Maybe it won't. Maybe we'll die before then. That would kind of be bad. Yo, let's go! Five mil! <laughs> this is a milestone. Most people would quit this far out, where 17.5 hours have passed while only yielding 16% completion. And I had a long talk with myself to determine if I was up for the challenge. Hey man. Yeah. Should we continue? This is gonna be a lot of work. Hmm. Let me think. Yes! I never back down from a challenge! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Farlands.
Now obviously the Farlands don't exist in modern versions of Minecraft, but I want to pay tribute to this wonderful milestone. By day 14, much of the time loading chunks, I felt like I was in a dream. But that didn't stop me from spotting some cool terrain generation. This just doesn't even feel real. I don't understand. I, I can't really explain it very well. It just feels fake. Look at this. It just looks so grand, especially with the... The flowers? Super masculine. This is really secluded. Wait, I actually like this. Okay, that's probably the coolest spot to have a shipwreck. Well, they found the pot of gold. Oh, it's a hu Oh my goodness. This is humongous. Here we go, 14 million. Day 15 marked the halfway point of the journey, which means this video is only halfway done. So make sure to get something to snack on and hit the like button if you're enjoying the video this far. Today, I was in one of those moods. You know, where you constantly do cool things. <gasps> oh, that was awesome. Okay, that was nice. Definitely was hoping that would work out, and it did. This is such a cool village. Look how it's... So it's a desert village, right? But it's on the border of an oak forest and a badlands. <laughs> Dude, these guys are living the life. Most villages look kind of meh. But this is kind of beautiful. This is by far one of the biggest milestones that we will ever come across. 15 million blocks. <gasps> the next day was when I started to realize just how time-consuming this challenge was. But, just like day 15, that didn't stop me from finding some nifty things. The grind is real, I can definitely sense it. <laughs> it's... <clears throat> it's kinda tough. I'm not used to playing Minecraft for three and a half hours every day for 30 days. It's kind of insane. <gasps> Floating tree! We found it! It's... it exists! This is natural! There's no dirt underneath it. Probably because there's a, a pond, a very small... I don't even know if you'd call that a pond. There's there's a pool of water underneath it. 16 mil, boys! Thankfully, I've learned from the past and gave myself some time to relax before day 17. Because of this, I had a lot of fun talking to myself while loading virtual chunks in this block game for three and a half hours straight. We just passed one million chunks. That's a lot of chunks if you're asking me. Square sand. <laughs> Square sand. You don't see that very often. And a flower forest. Oh, and I wanted to... But I did that cool thing. What if we just traveled the world like this? Like we didn't even really do much other than just flipping. Yeah. <laughs> what did one iceberg say to the other? There's more than meets the eye. Of course, hopefully they're not uh, self-conscious about themselves. <laughs> After I had too much fun talking to myself, it was time that I buckled down for day 18. And for good reason. Oh my gosh, this scared me. Well, it startled me. This abandoned village here. And then there's just creepy wide eyes staring out from the abyss. No way. That is dang near perfection. Oh. What? And thankfully this continued into day 19 as well. This is probably the weirdest place I've ever seen this spawn. Why did a pillar- <laughs> look, look at the terrain it's standing on. This is probably one of my favorite flower forests because it's also on an island. Did that llama just accuse my skills? I felt like I was doing so good and then I ran into the wall and he just like laughed at me. He's like, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Give the freaking llama, give him the FPV goggles, give him the controller. See what this kid can do. Day 20 was certainly unforgettable. Unfortunately, in the worst way possible. Team Sub Sandwich. Uh, team, I'm stuck under the ice. Okay. Thankfully, thanks to my fast reflexes, I was able to make it out alive with only half of my health intact. Thankfully, thanks to my fast- Ugh, that's a tongue twister. Thankfully, fast- <laughs> Today is a special day. Why not celebrate it with a different shader? That's right. Today is special as it marks the 66.66 repeating percent completion. And for those who don't like percentages, we're two thirds of the way there. <laughs> the frame rate was displeasing to me, so I decided to fly 60,000 blocks in the sky. And here's what I found. I don't know why it this is uh, making me feel so uncomfortable, but it is. Now we're just going to outer space. Look at the sky. Now my quad's really blue. Mm, this is really weird. But the urine yellow is shrinking fast. Very, very fast. Okay, now it's exponentially faster and gone. <gasps> Guys, it's the Death Star. <laughs> Whoa, look at this neon red. What the heck? We have breached it. Look at that. This almost doesn't even look like Minecraft. <laughs> Whoa. It's a light show. 
Yeah, sorry, I had to catch you there. You're nearly spun back into the stratosphere. I'm certain that my findings on day 22 were a result of my stratospherical adventure. Pink sheep. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, we found it. Oh, boys, we did it. You're kidding me. Another pink sheep. My bedtime prayer was answered on day 23, when I asked to find strange and mysterious things for online views. Ah, come on! Ah. Okay, uh, by simple math, I, I did it. 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 point 2 2 2. Oh, oh, oh. That gave me a heart attack. <laughs> All right, it is possible to get an abandoned plains village with churches. What the heck? Why is there just random rails here? Huh? I don't understand this. And it's so long, too. Oh, we just found another three church. Are you kidding me? And another b abandoned plains village on an island, no less. This gap right here. No. The gap literally is an L. <laughs> no. It did it to me again. Are you kidding me? Pig sheep. <laughs> Third one on this one world. Day 24 was much less eventful, likely because I stopped spraying for it. Oh, that was so awesome. No chance. We found another pink sheep. <laughs> this is the fourth of this one world. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Oh, that was satisfying. What the? <laughs> this, <laughs> this house <laughs> faced through the jungle pyramid. Oh, that's funny. And so did this one. As was the experience day 25. Though I did still find some neat generation. This is the peak of alpha terrain gen. What? This is so sweet. Oh my goodness. It's a ravine that splits in a w No, an X pattern. That's a really cool X shape, actually. The next two days, I gave myself a goal of finding as many pink sheep as I could. And I made my record for two consecutive days. Yeah, pink sheep. We found another one. Hey, do my eyes deceive me? No, they do not. The second pink sheep of the day. I think we're gonna need new motors. Because we just made it to 26 million. If you're wondering about my FPS, I'm currently doing something that's absolutely obliterating my CPU right now. <laughs> Oi, the chunks! Look at the bottom, the lighting effects. It doesn't update the lighting, that is so weird. Hey, on the bright side, we're saving a lot of disk space. You thought you calculated how big the world file was gonna be. Your journey to the dark side is complete. Channel your inner anger and use it to shift the Minecraft world board. Uh, Minecraft world file size. <gasps> pink sheep! <gasps> Hello, pink sheepy! 27 million. As my time in this beautiful world was coming to an end, I let myself relax, take in the views, and play Minecraft like it should be played. Yo, another three church village! Whoa! Did you see how he just went into that lightning? <laughs> that was so unintentional, but so awesome. Could it be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's only six. It's so tall though. One more block and it would have been the seventh. 28 million, let's go boys. And oh, wow. That was awesome. Another mushroom island. Look at this. <gasps> Eight. It says eight. That's for the current million that we're on. Forget the fact that there's a two in front of it, but <laughs> awesome. What? <sighs> Yo, that was one of the coolest unintentional tricks we've done this entire series. What? <gasps> we just got struck by lightning. I didn't know that was possible. You better believe it. 29 million. Before I could think twice, my time in this challenge was three and a half hours away from being over. Part of me was thrilled to be done with daily uploading and the grind that it took each day, but another part was sad on the experiences that would cease to exist. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 30, the final day. It's the final countdown. Today's challenge, as punishing as it may be, is to fly upside down the whole way there. <laughs> okay, well, I was not trying to do that. All right, for the last 10,000 blocks, it looks like it might be depressing, but we are gonna fly upright. <gasps> Holy crap. Here we go. I can't wait to see it. Oh, it's like the child I will never have or maybe never have had, but maybe will have. <gasps> Yo, show it to me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we did it, boys. <sighs> Dude, 
Dude, I can't believe it. I, st I can't believe it right now. We actually did it. <laughs> yes! At the start of the video, I asked you to put in your guesses for how big you think this world final is gonna be. This command is going to tell us. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, the command's usually instant. <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck? Our world is 333 gigabytes. What? That's a Minecraft world!